Recovery Channel, where life's pains are healed. Many people have done 100 day fasting, but they did not know Mr. Fix It All. So when you are doing fasting, you don't know the Holy Spirit, you are wasting your time. It's a person. But most of us have climbed the mountains, we do not have a relationship with the Holy Spirit. Yes. It is if we did not fast 300 days, we didn't fast all year, we didn't dedicate ourselves to fast. He said, if your prayers, if this personality does not go, I won't move an inch. So you can fast without an intimacy with the Holy Spirit, you will lose the battle. Fasting without the Holy Spirit is starvation. The Bible says that the Spirit of God came upon him. And look at what the Spirit, the Spirit now led him to a fast. Some are fasting without the leading of the Spirit. Some are fasting without the Holy Spirit. Some believe in the fasting, some believe in the all. But the person behind the all and the person behind the fasting, they don't know and they don't want to know. They don't even want to discover who it is. So for these 21 days, this is going to be a discovery. The person of the Holy Spirit, the limit breaker. In 2020, every idol, every dog, every spirit in your father's house, run against your success, run against your breakthrough, they shall bow. I said they shall bow. They Don't you want to leave him? Answer me, simple question. We want to convert them to our kingdom. Which kingdom? Married kingdom. Not set you down for it. You won't let him set you down. Yes. Now listen to me. The four of you, you will leave at the count of four. One, two, three. Devil of darkness in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, lose this man. Ouch! You know, sometimes we deny some things, but the truth is that it's true. Why are you turning your face? <laughs> <laughs> it's here, it's here, pastor. <laughs> Praise God. But you see, by the time you have the Spirit of God in you, there are things you already know. Look at those virgins. They came into the house where Paul was. They took a cloak from it. All right, this is Paul. This is Paul. This is his own shawl. Shawl. Um, they use it in how countries where they have winter. Right? Okay. When you get into a house in Europe or in most of these countries where there's cold, do your hand like this. People come, they drop their... When they come into the house, everybody will come, drop their... Hey, how are you? Who's in the house? Everybody will drop their cloak. Because it's a warm environment. Right? Now they came and picked one. Say, who owns this cloak? This person will go into captivity. He will be chained. They pick a dress and they're able to tear. One night we were sleeping. Pastor Luis just turned. He said, Honey, I just have this feeling that something is about to happen. I said, sleep. Sleep. Just can you see? You, you, come, come. you know, the truth is that I don't like anything that makes me afraid. <laughs> That's the truth. If you, if, you, if you are very close to me, if you, anything that sponsors fear, I don't like it. If I'm watching television now, they start showing people wearing black cloth, crying, carrying, I change the channel. <laughs> no, that is me. If I'm watching TV, they start doing, you know this horror? I change the channel. If I see snake, I change the channel. I don't like snake. Anything that sponsors, I'm a kind of, I like people happy, laughing. You know, if you come to my house, something, if I, if you, I won't tell you the channel I like listening to. I like music. Everywhere, everybody's happy. Eh? Just, just, just be happy. Anything that suggests unhappiness, I don't like it. So when she said, I said, come, stop this this is your prophecy. But you know, when, before she said it, I was having that thing for three days. And myself and my friend, we started praying. Do you know, the following night, 21 or 22 ambrobas came to my house and they killed my security man. They broke through. The Bible says in First Corinthians, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. 
what God has prepared for those who love him. He said, but it has been revealed to us by the Spirit. There's a spirit of revelation that reveals things to us. So in the place of prayer, it's not just gathering for 21 days and be shouting, ah, or the altar, my father says, die, die. Altar say, I'll not kill you. <laughs> I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. You're fighting the wrong thing. You're dealing with the wrong thing. Do you, know, do you know, as much as we were all created by God, I have my location, you have your location. I don't know if you get what I'm saying. We are all created by God, but do you know, there's nobody that can marry me like Pastor Lucy or, because we are wired in certain ways and God grants people locations and give you friendships. Do you know, you can try to be my friend. Somehow I can't connect with you. You can't connect with me. You will try, try, try. Dash me things. You will dash me. I'll take what you have dashed me. I'll dash somebody else. Have you ever seen somebody loving you, killing his head over you? As, a person, as you talk, you don't even think about the person. And then you too, you are liking somebody too. The person is not liking you too. You understand how it works? Do me, I do you. <laughs> Praise God. And then you see two people, they just like themselves. They're into each other 24 7. Where are you? Where are you? They are chatting. Where are you? Where's your location? Why are you? And then you say, ah, now juju, it's a whole lot. Not be juju. They are connected. There's a charisma. There's a connection. May God connect you with what is connected to you. Now, how will somebody know the dress of the person that will go into captivity? But the Holy Spirit. Huh? So it's not just about 40 days fasting. This is yours. Okay. It's not about 40 days fasting or 21 days fasting. It's about being led of the Spirit, uh, the ability of the Spirit of God to help you to understand things. Are you with me? Hello? In these 21 days of prayer and fasting, as we, as we begin to pray, we begin to know things. Some of say know things. Do you know sometimes God will just reveal to you that there's need to pray for this child. You can have four children and there's the need to pray for one particular child. Sometimes you just know that your stay in the compound is over. You can walk into your office and know that this business must stop. It's time to start something else. Some of you are flogging a dead horse whose time is over. There are some of you here, you are in a toxic relationship that you need to disconnect. God is giving you all the signs. Disconnect, disconnect, disconnect. You are holding on. Jesus. Jesus. You are adding prayer. You are calling people to pray. Now, what is wrong cannot be made right. Even with prayers. Because God never put it together. Are you with me? Huh? Amen? I said amen. amen. Look at Daniel. Daniel was on a fast, but by the Spirit, he continued. And then, there were a lot of things going on in the realm of the Spirit. There was a priest of Pesha that was holding the angel that was sent with answers. But Daniel continued for 21 days and then he broke through and the angel appeared and said, from the first day you began praying, your prayers were answered. But the prince of Pesha withstood me for 21 days. A man was praying and fasting, praying and fasting, praying and fasting. They were always sick in the house, headache and all. Until one day, he had a dream, a revelation came to him. There was a demonic picture, portrait of a, of a, of a, of a deity in somewhere around Egypt. He went on a mission. He bought it and brought it to the house. That thing now brought his spiritual presence to the house and was afflicting everybody in the home. He took it away, destroyed it. The sickness disappeared. I was in Spain, Papilona, to be precise, the northern part of Spain. 
uh, this should be like about 12 years ago, I went for a conference. I was ministering. When I was praying, I called the woman and I said, come. She was just, like, look at how she was looking. Water, you know. So when, the more we pray, you know, the speaker should do. So every sound was affecting her. I said, come, come here. She came. I said, what's wrong with you? Say headache. In my mind, ah, is headache a problem? Why don't you take paracetamol? That's my thinking. And the woman said, headache, 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 headache. So I prayed. I said, you are healed now. The woman said, I'm not healed. It is just key my morale. And that day, I had fasted for days before that meeting. That day, I didn't even eat the whole day. And I was too confident that when I prayed for that woman, she should be healed. So when we closed, as I was going to the car, the husband came after me. He said, please, sir, pray for my wife. I'm tired. They, we have gone for Omar Pai's conference in Valencia. We have gone to this man's conference. It was mentioning program that are going for prayer. So I said, okay, come to my hotel tomorrow. I'll pray with you in the morning. So they came in the morning. So when they came, I started ministry to the woman. And God now revealed to me, I saw something like a cross and a bottle. The more I prayed, I saw it. And I said, did they say, do you have a bottle with cross? The husband said, nothing like that. Nothing like that? I said, nothing like that. Nothing like that? In fact, when I said it again, the other said, oh, pastor, nothing like that. I got that from the state. He said, nothing like that. <laughs> he was irritated. You could see someone like, if you know if you pray, where could you go? <laughs> cross and bottle. What is cross and bottle? So I said, now nah, I said, did they give you anything? Uh, the wife said, uh, uh, now spoke their direct and told the man, calm down. Calm down. There's something in the house. The man said, what? He said, one of your friends go somewhere, do something, they bring a car. They're the top of wardrobe. Wardrobe? Yes. Ha. Huh? So they went. Lo and behold, the woman brought the carton upstairs uh, on top of the wardrobe. And there was a cross inside. How did the cross enter the bottle? Is a question. Big cross inside the bottle. She said the day she, she said she was having some, she was you know trying to process her documents. She, she needed all her friends had got in that document. So she now told the friend in Benin to rally around to spiritually do whatever. And the friend now said, No problem, I go go somewhere. So they did some things, put it in the bottle, sent to her. The day she took consignment of that bottle and brought it to the house, she started having headache. Serious one. She has been to all the hospitals everywhere. She could not trace her problem to the bottle. They were praying against witchcraft, attacking. If I when the husband came to see me, she told me that it is the, mo the stepmother that they want the marriage that is giving the wife headache. Then the wife said she's suspecting the uncle she sent money to. Now, everybody was suspecting, Abby. Is that not how some of you here? For how many years will you be suspecting? That's why the Spirit of God has been given to us to reveal, to show us, and to help us in the place of prayer to pray the way we should pray. And somebody say amen. amen. So when I told them, they now to brought the bottle. I went to the back of the hotel. As soon as I broke it, the thing fell. The cross, I put them together. The lady said, ah, ah, ah. Mm. That was it. No prayer, no fasting. How do you explain that? Jesus said to the disciples, he said, don't leave until you are filled with the Spirit. Now, the, the, the Spirit comes with nine gifts. One of the gifts is the police of the other eight. It's called the gift of discernment, to be able to discern. 
Do you know all of us can be speaking in tongues right now? Somebody can be demonically projected into our church and become like us and act like us. I'll be speaking in tongues. Meanwhile, it's not the Holy Spirit. We had a lady like that in our church many, many years ago. She was positioned into this church to afflict us. When you hear pray, what does it shut up? What kind of tongue is this? She said that is inspiration, it's the Holy Ghost. When we're praying, as much as it sounded like tongues, there was just something not right with her. As 16, 16, that was what happened. Paul was going. A woman was prophesying. Do you know that people will give you prophecy? They will tell you everything as it is, but it's not the Holy Spirit. Do you know you can see by the act of divination, spirit of the water. They will tell you everything, reveal things, they will tell you date. So we won't go in and tell you things, but it's not the Holy Spirit. Paul had a woman prophesying for three days until one day Paul stopped and now cast out the devil and the woman was was free amen, amen. it's a gift of discerning to know so the spirit of God is out to help you let me close with this how many of you know that big ship they call Titanic 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 was the biggest ship that was ever built and when it was built it was worth billions of dollars when they finished building the ship the owners, the, the people who built the ship, they said, even God cannot sink it. God. So before the ship was to sail, they needed an insurance company to insure it. So the insurance companies came, fighting, bidding. One of the people who was among those who owned the ship said, why don't you go to the biggest insurance company in New York? They were owned by Jewish men who were spirit filled those people didn't come for it they only sent a representative but they came to them and told them we want you to insure this ship insure it and they said okay give us seven days let's go pray see the holy spirit was also working your business they went and they were praying by the third one of them said i don't have a leading for us to ah the other said no they prayed again by the sixth day they all had the same weakness in their spirit that they should not. They didn't need to hear a voice. They knew in their spirit. And I want you to understand that the Holy Spirit wants to take you to regions beyond, beyond, beyond the norm. Where you, you don't make mistakes that are very expensive. How many of you know that you can take a wrong business move and it can set you back? You can plumb money. Sometimes God will tell you, don't back on this journey. Like some years ago, I was invited to a church in, in Cape Town. God told me not to go. I went. The story is for another day. If I tell you the story now, you will not only cry, but we will not close up on time. But by the time I finally arrived in Nigeria, I used my hand to touch ground, touch my chest, and I thank God. Missing shoes, missing luggage where I went to I was attacked by armed robbers they hit my eye I was rushed to the optician they had to plaster one eye the opening service of the church that night I said I bring you greetings from Nigeria <laughs> because when you are according to my church they call Oyeho person on the hear what Opening night, the guest speaker had plaster in his eye. Do you know where I was attacked? In the compound of the church. God told me not to go. Do you know every year I pray, God, do I travel? Like last year, I didn't have liberty to travel. I have visas to travel. I was not in the liberty to travel. This year, I have liberty. There was one time God told me not to travel. I was looking for school fees for my children. I said, I must travel. My spirit told me, don't travel. I went to my painter in Italy to preach in the church. First of all, snow covered everywhere. They canceled flights. I was trapped in Germany for two days. Finally, I arrived at my painter. 
the people were waiting for me at the airport. When they picked me, even their car was covered. They didn't see their car again. We got to the church. That did they cancel train, cancel because the snow was something else. Arrived the church. I've never seen a church as stubborn as that church. Human beings, I thought they are spirits. Everything. When I'm preaching, they'll be laughing. <laughs> Do you know what happened at the end of the program? The money I was looking for was here. They said, Sir, we will send your money to Nigeria. The man who used to sign the check, Nalayo, is not around. Just hold this for the journey back. Do you know, eventually I got to my painter. We had to go by road. Somebody had to volunteer to risk it. We'll go, we'll slide off, we'll snow, we'll battle again. I said, Father, if I reach home, I will never be disobedient. Do you know, I was in the airport when I got a call. Somebody had a check for me in Nigeria. Three millionaire. I was to die outside. Do you know we eventually took off the plane? Uh, it was on Christmas Day. I told you the story. The plane just took off. No good money, no Merry Christmas, nothing. <laughs> Don't think I brought the safe. Oh. There's Christmas everywhere. Oh. The pilot was drunk. Who are the people that normally test them? They were not around. We took off. That's how the plane was. When we were arriving to set of airport, I blast everywhere. Do you know I came out of the aircraft, I forgot my hand luggage. That we could touch the earth. I was glad. <laughs> Do you know that journey I came back with nothing? I would have died. The money I was pursuing, it was here. Thou preparest a table before me, even in the presence. You, there are sometimes you think you are going to get money in Kaduna. God has put it in Egbeda. But it takes for the Spirit of God to show you, to reveal things to you. Ah, I don't know what to say. It's a long story, but I need to stop at this point. But let me tell you something. Don't, you know what? The, uh, so, um, Exodus 33, verse 15. Moses said, We will not go if, this, if your presence will not go with us. Then in Exodus 33, 14, God said, My Spirit will go with you and you will have peace. Don't enter a marriage if the Spirit of God is telling you no, 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 no. The Spirit is telling you no, 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 no. You say no. I'll make the fasting 14 days. The Spirit is saying no, 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 no. You say no. I'll make it 21 days. Oh, yeah, huh? Not the hear what? Continue. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Spirit, the spirit is telling you don't, 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 don't. You say okay. This voice, I will drown it with 45 days fasting. Because I'm speaking right now, the Spirit of God is warning somebody here about a relationship. And in your mind, but this person is like a pastor. It's like a man of God. Oh, yeah. Many people have done 100 day fasting, but they did not know Mr. Fix It All. So when you are doing fasting, you don't know the Holy Spirit. You are wasting your time. It's a person. But most of us have climbed the mountains, we did not have a relationship with the Holy Spirit. He didn't say if we did not fast 300 days, we didn't fast all year, we didn't naked ourselves to fast. He said, if you're present, if this personality does not go, I won't move an inch. I will stay here. So you can fast without an intimacy with the Holy Spirit, you will lose the battle. Fasting without the Holy Spirit is starvation. The Bible says that the Spirit of God came upon him. And look at what the Spirit, the Spirit now led him to a fast. Some are fasting without the leading of the Spirit. Some are fasting without the Holy Spirit. Some believe in the fasting, some believe in the oil. But the person behind the oil and the person behind the fasting, they don't know and they don't want to know. They don't even want to discover ways. So for these 21 days, this is going to be a discovery. The person of the Holy Spirit, the limit breaker. In 2020, every idol, every dog, every spirit in your father's house, rolling against your success, rolling against your breakthrough, they shall bow. I said they shall bow. They Don't you want to leave him? Answer me a simple question. We want to convert them to our kingdom. Which kingdom? Married kingdom. Not set you down for it. You won't let him set you down. Yes. Now listen to me. The four of you, you will leave at the count of four. One, two, three. Devil of darkness, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, lose his mind. 
Ouch! There's one of my daughters. She said to me, said that I'm dating a young man. I said, ask him if he's the fifth child. And she confirmed. Called the guy, the guy said the fifth child. I said, this guy is fake. He says a man of God has a church in Abuja, has a church in Port Harcourt. I said, okay, tell him to send us his address in Port Harcourt, Abuja. Pastor Alex will go and check. Already had collected 200,000 from this sister. He has made the sister so seed for keyboard that never existed. You, are, you, are, you, are, you say you're a man of God, you're already obtaining. And this sister was so gullible because the guy can speak in tongues. Do you know the more I talk to her, she will resist me, she will argue. I said, just ask him, who is the fifth child? Says the one. I say, good. That's my nigger. <laughs> I don't know how it came out of my mouth. <laughs> Are you hearing me? <laughs> to call love through short. The guy faded out. He had he had eaten the sister big time. It took me a pastor to help her recuperate. Listen, they, don't be in a hurry because the Spirit of God wants to spare you a lot of heart, a lot of stress. A lot of stress. Do you know sometimes the Spirit of God can be leading you to somebody that might not have all the two packs, three packs, six packs, but the person have peace pack. They call peace pack. And you, you feed him very well. Give him four years. You see the, the, the six packs. <laughs> you don't know. Do you know that some people you marry, they don't look very attractive. Yes, After a while, they change. They metamorphose. You now start to see that he's a cute guy. It's just that Hamatan was blowing him when you met him. <laughs> <laughs> you need to see Pastor Lucia by seven. We got married. We're looking like Ghanaians. I didn't say anything. It's my children that said we look like Ghanaians. Are you following what I'm saying? The Bible said the part of the justice has a shining light that shines more and more to the perfect day. And let me tell you something. There are some people, there are treasures in some places you don't even understand. Greatness in some people, but they don't look it. A lady came to me one time. I was showing me two guys that were in her life. I said, come, this other one you're ignoring is the guy. He said, no, 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 no. I reject That's why I didn't want to come to you. I said, okay, oh. Do you know what? The one that was too flashy already had children. Was married. Abandoned the wife and came to Lagos. I was carrying a look. Remove his wedding band. Deceptive. So, you see, deception is always attractive. That's why you need the Holy Spirit. Deception is very attractive. Lies are very appealing. Sometimes truth doesn't really appeal. But truth is constant. Amen. Amen. Do you know eventually she, she listened to me and then started dating that guy. Do you know as I speak to you right now, that guy works with Shell. He does well. He's doing so well. He was, I think he was, he, was, he was working in the bank at that time or so. It was, it was like he just got a job and it was more like a teller. I, don't, I forgot it. Like, like a contract job. Struggling. Barely... I think it was in about 45,000. The guy ends well. Amen. amen. I say amen. amen. So I want you to understand that there's a life in the Holy Spirit. There's what? Why we say, why is this have you have you received the Holy Spirit? Have you received the Holy Spirit? If it's not important. Why would Jesus wait till the Holy Spirit came? Why would Moses not carry out a ministry until there's a Holy Spirit? Why would uh, David say, Lord, Cast me not away from thy presence. Take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Psalm 51 verse 11. He didn't say, take not thy throne. The most important thing to a king should be what? 
Come on, talk to me. The prayer should have been, Lord, cast me not away from, take not my throne from, but what did he say? Take not thy Holy Spirit from, because the Holy Spirit was what enthroned him. Don't forget he was a shepherd boy, but the Spirit enthroned him. Now, David knew what he was talking. Have you ever seen where you use catapult to kill a bear? He said, Lyo. But that was David's experience. He was empowered by the Holy Ghost. He took care of his father's flock. And when his sheep was under siege, he took his catapult. You, who wrote Psalm 23? Who wrote Psalm 23? He talked about who? The great shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie what he he restored my soul. Do I walk through the valley of the shadow of it? I fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff. Have you ever seen where you use a stone to kill a bear? No way. A bear. A bear is massive. Oh. If a bear should come here, me, I won't wait. Oh. It's, it's, it's huge. But what was his testimony with Goliath? He said, the bear came after my father's sheep. And I smote the bear. I smote the bear. It's supernatural. Then he said something. He said, and the lion came. I plucked the sheep from his mouth. He said, the God who gave me the bear and the sheep will also give me your head today. Now watch. Go and find geographically. They found the skull of Goliath. That stone that pierced his head is still there. It is not an ordinary stone. It was supernaturally imposed. When he threw it, the Spirit of God went with it. Boom! Bah! That was how when Goliath saw him, he laughed. He said, look at this one. Who, who born you? Where your mama? Hey, hey! Oh, you have seen me finish. You have seen me finish. The Bible said Goliath was a man of war from his youth. People are coming with spare. I, I cracked them. You, you insult me. You call me catapult. I've suffered. I've suffered. I've suffered. But you know what? The Bible says, and David ran after him. I said, I come in the name of the God of Israel. Bah! Uh, you guys say, wah. I believe right now in hellfire. Goliath said, they used something to hit me. Something hit me. Something nine, they hit me from back. There was this story they talked about in Benin, where a driver, a bus driver, and the conductor there was a fight. So the passenger now hit the the conductor. So the conductor now said in the do language, collect the hammer from his hand. <laughs> collect the hammer from his hand. And the driver now replied, said, it is not hammer. Now blue. Ekpa, say ekpa no. Now blue, let me give you. Not the hammer, but the impact was like hammer. I'm sure that was how happened to Goliath. Goliath said they use they use hammer on his head, the stone supernaturally protected to hit his head. So what am I trying to say? This is all the journey. Of the spirit David had you know what he never played with the spirit of God you look at his he had a prayer life look at all the Psalms my soul watch it for the morning blah 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 but to see that present to sing that glory he talked talk 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 he was always a man of prayer that was why when he began to number his soldiers God killed the soldiers 70,000 died in second Samuel chapter 24 you know why God killed the soldiers because God wanted David to remember that all his battles were not won by soldiers the Bible says that David sinned against God when he began to number his army God now said so when have you started counting your soldiers when have you when have you won battles with your soldiers it's the same question the Holy, you some of you thought your beauty will end you a, 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 a marriage some of you thought your certificate would give you a job. God said in 2020, 
if you can connect with me by the spirit i won't limit you can we celebrate the lord and give him the big hand hallelujah don't forget as i close the service right now you don't need to be anywhere to be successful god will position you wherever you are and make things happen for you the way some of you will enter work this year to amaze you to amaze you i'm telling you to amaze you to amaze you when my second child was to go to school i told you the story i was praying my mother said your son must go you cannot train a girl and not train a male it will cause sibling rivalry ha already at that time my brain was already rocking how can i incorporate a boy to join the, the thing was too heavy for me i don't know if you understand what i'm saying i, I couldn't find tom two children abroad international student from a better a and school was about closing for admission i prayed prayed how where do i start the tuition for the next semester was closed i didn't even have the money every time i go and greet my boy we say that all my friends admission have come he was indirectly reminding me i said no problem there's god in heaven now i'm saying this to all of you you're about to pay school fees now in january don't look at your salaries don't look at your savings there's a holy spirit that will help you the bible calls him the helper do you know one afternoon i just finished praying in my office upstairs and i slept see the way god will do god will use st stupid things ordinary things but says to confound the wise see there are some things if i share with you sometimes i don't like sharing because sometimes people something is bragging no i try to open my heart and pour my whole story so you see i'm so ordinary so plain with a supernatural powerful god at work in my life how can i explain this do you know what happened? i dreamt a dream i saw myself in somebody's compound and a big bear like a light dog came after this person hey and i told myself if i don't deliver this person this thing will kill this person so i i just don't know a bible entered my hand and i went after the thing i put it in the mouth of the and the thing just died and i woke up i was sweating ah jesus what kind of dream i remember the face of the person i took my phone i called his number i said hey how now hey man of god i said i just had a terrible dream right now we need to pray he said what dream I said I, I saw myself in your compound and see 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 he said eh. he said hold on i said why he said i heard him say darling come he called his wife he said tell manu tell pastor, pastor could repeat your dream again i repeated it the wife said jesus i said why are you shouting he said my husband woke up from the same dream and saw you and you were the one that saved him I said wow wow i said let's pray he said no man of god i want to raise a sacrifice and bless you because i believe that the power to save me i said let's look at this i said there's a battle coming up i now gave an interpretation i say in this sector that you are in there's a battle coming up and we need to pray there's a contention let's fast for seven days he said i'm sending you a sacrifice do you know what he said send your boy so i sent somebody who went he wrapped it in newspaper thank god he wrapped it because if that person knew what he was carrying he would have fallen inside ted Milan bridge because at that time this brother if you give him one one million dollar like this eh, even the way he's working his body language he wrapped it in a paper and put it in nylon and then put it in another bag gave it to his brother and he brought it to me do you know what i was overwhelmed have you ever asked yourself god said to abraham i will make you great i will make you great you'll be rich ask me what was the initial capital it was sarah somebody was like you sarah abby no make me break the bible now abraham left his father's house with what nothing <laughs> now they make life difficult too. he left his father's house with nothing and Abimelech is a king. Uh, uh, Pharaoh. Pharaoh was liking Sarah. Old mama. Old mama 
was now a slave queen. No, let's piece this Bible right now. Sarah, whose womb the Bible says was dead. Somebody said they like a dead womb. And then wanted to marry her. Abraham was afraid. He said, Now my sister. Later truth came. Ah, the king said, If I talk through now, if you read your Bible, when he was going, he now gave animals. You, you are not following. Okay, since I can't marry you, slay queen, Colette. Colette. Always remember that somebody like you somewhere. You are not even following the story. Anyhow, anyhow, there was a transfer. Abi? If you go to chapter 13, the Bible says Abraham was now rich a cattle. Where did he get the cattle? Somebody was liking his wife. Didn't touch his wife. What am I trying to say? God can use strange influences and strange circumstances. We were in California. My friend and myself, Dr. Chris Okafor, we were ministering. Okafor called a friend of mine, Brother Bobby, and prophesied to Bobby. He said, Bobby, I see money coming to your hand. Before then, I had ministered to Bobby, and I was running up the prophecy. Okafor now came and said, I see the world. Man of God, I confirm it. He now went for that to explain. So two of us were administered to Bobby. At the close of the service, Bobby's girlfriend was at the back. She was laughing. When we close, <laughs> she came and said, if he's rich, I will marry him. I've told you the story before. Is that not so? Do you know what happened? He was doing Uber. And somebody now hit him. Bah! And he had some slight injury. So he went to see the doctor. And they packaged the whole thing. There was a surgery he did before, but did he not have first surgery? Insurance, all the book boy. They now sued for one million dollars. The people say they want to settle out of court. And they paid 300 American US dollars. Prophecy never happened. Do you know in less than two months, my guy bought two huge trucks 25,000, 25,000 50,000 me I chopped 10,000 American dollar my friend chopped 10,000 how do you explain it no explain your birth explain your existence uh, explain who be God my man and sister you will make it you are confused. When will I marry? How will I marry? Relax. Calm down. It is this year. Amen. Lift your hands and praise Him. Thank Him, everyone, and worship Him. When, when we walk with the Lord in the light of His Word, what a glory He shares on our way. As the deep ends for water, so.
there's no one like you No one like you at all far at sea No one like you No one like you El Eruni No one like you Master You're the God of everything No one like you See restoration in 2020 yeah. all that you thought you have lost will be restored double full yeah. the spirit of God is saying that many of you tonight you are saying how will I ever come out of this situation the Lord said by the month of March some of you here you are already marching to another level he said in strange ways will I restore you he said, the sons of strangers that afflicted you will also be the same strangers that will come begging and bending to you. God said, where they wounded you, they will heal you. They will restore you. I'm seeing, as I was mentioning, 21 days. God said, there's somebody here on the 21st of this month. The same person who turned his back from you that is causing you so much pain will call you and turn his face to you. Amen. 21st of this month. For somebody, it's a day of jubilation. Amen. Lift your hands, everyone, to the Lord. In la moto shafalama kapakasa na mahada ya maroda. In the name of Jesus, we command everything that is sitting over your breakthrough to be uprooted. Everything sitting on your breakthrough, let it be uprooted. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you for watching our broadcast. I'm so glad you stayed to the end of this broadcast. I want to invite you for our special services, which I strongly believe is going to be a great blessing to you as you connect to this ministry. Don't just stop at watching. Make an effort to be part of this meeting where the Spirit of God is at work every week touching lives. Now, every Sunday morning we begin our first service at the Kedja Center, number 19, Oba Accra. Now, Ikeja is more a mainland church, so where, wherever you are in the city, you can easily connect. So, for easy connectivity, we can, we, 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 our church is positioned at the mainland, uh, number 19 of Akron. We begin our services there by 8 o'clock in the morning, we terminate by 10. And then, at the headquarter church at Egbeda, number 11, our street in Ikbalaji, bus stop, we begin at Egbeda church from 10. To 12. Now, during the week, we have a special meeting which we tag healing and deliverance, which is every Tuesday morning, 9 to 11. Now, during that program, we minister to the faith needs of the people, we deal with demonic issues, we prophesy as the Spirit of God gives us the utterance and the supply of the Spirit to minister to the people. And we connect to them and minister to their faith need. As I perceive by the Spirit of prophecy, People and cases are located and they are ministered to. And we have a powerful prayer line where everyone that is part of the program can be ministered to. That's the beauty about the program. Everyone that comes can be ministered to. You are not lost in the crowd. So we have the special prayer line every Tuesday morning at the end of the healing and deliverance service. Now, on Wednesday, we have our midweek service. It's a prophetic service. It starts 6 30 in the evening and terminates to 9. Now, in this meeting, we teach and then the prophetic most times because we are always expecting the Spirit of God to speak after we hear the Word of God to speak back to us and to minister to us. So as we receive the prophecies and solution, cases are picked and people are ministered to. Now, on Thursday, back to the mainland, 
8 in the morning, we have what we call the Breakthrough Fountain. It's a program designed for business people to come for one hour. You know, Jesus talked about praying for one hour. We believe if people can spend an hour in prayer, the power of God will touch them and minister to them. So Thursday morning from 8.30 to 9.30, we have the Breakthrough Fountain. It's an hour of intercession and prayer. A minister, prophetically, cases are mentioned. And those affected are asked to wait to see me one on one. Now I can say from 9.30 to 12 on Thursday, and that's all for the morning session. Now later in the evening, for those who can make it because of work or school or business, we have an evening session that begins from 6.30 and terminates by 8.15 on Thursday. Now get connected to this program and be part of any of the church services, either the one in the suburb at Egbeda or the one in the mainland. Get connected and I trust God that you will experience the things you see on this broadcast. The Lord bless you. Keep on watching the Recovery Channel.